Whoa! Oh my goodness, what is this? Welcome to Dan's on the Street. I am Dan. Today we're in Birmingham, Alabama. Pretty old town dating back to the 1870s. I'm excited to check this out. How about we drop in right downtown and we'll move out from there. Lots to see here and, oh, limited time, as always. We're on the street here looking at February 2019, so quite recent. Okay, parking garage, a few people out in the streets. Kind of like this old building here. It's got a look, good look to it. Definitely a good mixture of old and new. Nice tree-lined street right here. Great boulevard on 4th Avenue North. The Jimmy John's. Business people out and about. Population here is about 210,000, but there's over a million in the metropolitan area. So a good amount of people live in this area. And as I said, the city was founded in 1871, I read. The Watts Building. This looks like it could use a little rehab. Good bones to it though, I think. And a lovely building here in the corner here. Wonderful overhang. Great archways up top. Yeah, pretty good shape I think that one is. Okay, let's just keep moving down the street here. We're 20th Street North here. Interesting. Looks like they're rehabbing these maybe, and certainly this one, look at that. What a, what a job they're doing here. They're preserving the facade, really nicely preserved. And it looks like they're remodeling it. Yeah, there's a crane in there. Well, that's wonderful to see. This was in February, so hopefully that's uh, come a long ways even since then. What a wonderful facade. I'm so glad they're saving this building, and hopefully these two maybe are part of that remodeling work. Hard to say. Look at that old alleyway there. Nice building here. I love this tree-lined street here. This is really nice. Great shade. Interesting. Big building here. The Frank Nelson building. Okay. Not a ton of people out on the street right now. A few for sure. Let's take a left here, why not? This building is a big place. The City Federal, is that what that says? Interesting, downtown shopping. Some lawyer's office it looks like. A couple of them. They tend to clump together in my experience. This is a jewelry place. I like that little emblem up there if it is. It's an, it's an adorable face it makes for there. The Birmingham Bar Center. Yeah, definitely legal offices in here. So if you find yourself on this street, you might be in trouble. Uh, maybe. This is a great building here. Really wonderful design all through here. Great detailing, and it seems to be in pretty great shape too. Well, pretty good shape at least. Love that work they did up here on the second floor. So much care went into that. Really very nice, that green marble. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely, definitely some old buildings in here. Probably date back to the late 1800s. The INS Phoenix Co. Phoenix Co. Not familiar with that old brand. Phoenix. Or is it Phoenix, but just spelled weird? I mean, it looks like Phoenix. <laughs> this might have been a theater, I guess. Interesting. Interesting old town. Yeah, I've never been to Birmingham. I've been to Alabama at some point way back, but I don't think I was in Birmingham. And it's been a been years either way. The Tidal Group. I wonder what this building was originally. Great archway here. Beautiful archways all down the side. That's really nice. The Steiner Building. Oh my. Like that a lot. Looks like there's some old lettering here. 
Interesting. Hey, yeah, that's a great building. That might be one of my favorites I've seen so far here downtown. Real bright day out here, just blowing out with the sun. Um, okay, let's pop up. We're starting to get just lost in the city here. So it's got a good skyline here, as we can see, kind of zooming around. Uh, let's get north side up here. I like to start establishing which way's up. Um, yeah, there's a bit of the skyline, at least the rendering of it. Definitely a memorable skyline to it. Some newer stuff and uh, you know, some old stuff back from the, the 30s, maybe. Gigantic Pepsi sign here. And look at this, look at this chimney. My oh my. The Powell Avenue Steam Plant, okay. There's definitely used to be a lot of industry here. There might still be some, but hey, look at this. Didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah, there's one of those chimneys at least. This is a big old building. This, I think it was a park, it said, like a train park. I guess the trains used to come down here. Possibly. Kind of looks like it from this little street there. Brand new apartment building going in. I like seeing that. New stuff going up. Hope people are moving here. I'm not really sure whether um, the city's growing or uh, shrinking, but I like seeing cranes and uh, new buildings. That's, that's what you want to see. Yeah, Railroad Park. Oh, this is really nice. They did a great job. Um, fixing this up. Probably used to be a rail yards, maybe. Um, hard to say exactly. It's right next to the rail coming in. Interesting. And it's right next to Regions Field, home of the Birmingham Barons. Never heard of them? Minor league team, I assume. Great view from the stadium. Very nice. Okay, let's pull up a little bit here. Nice grid layout here. Slightly off axis, north-south that is. Lynn Park, let's make sure we check that out before we move outside of the downtown area. Okay, kind of here in winter, so not as attractive of a view. Let's go back, uh, February, eh, yeah, May 2016. There you go, that's a lot better. Much better. Yeah, definitely visit while the trees are blooming. Um, that's nice. Oh, City Hall, okay. Yeah, pretty standard. Government building. And an auditorium here. We just jumped back way in time there. I'm not sure what's going on. Looks to be a theater. Yeah, I like the views much better during uh, during May. How much better is that, right? Oh boy, as of this recording, we are heading straight into fall and then winter. Which I love fall, but I do not enjoy uh, this view, the winter views. No, not a fan. Major construction on the highway here. All right, well, that was interesting to see. I saw just a bit of it. Maybe we'll get one more peek of that at the end. We'll see how things are going. All right, north side up. Keep keep north side up. Okay, let's move a little north of there. How about the neighborhood of Norwood? Look like some old houses up here, maybe. Oh yeah, not too big. Yeah. Okay. Some of these are a little bigger up here too, though. Nice little neighborhood here. Lots of trees out. Again, January. I won't do this constantly, I swear, but I ah, just enjoy the views so much more in summer. Um, these are interesting little places. I like the look of this one. Huge staircase. All right, good space around them. Plenty of, uh, plenty of yard. Um, oh no, this one, not so good. Yeah, I was, I was having trouble telling whether this part of town was 
really uh, historic and nice or kind of historic and run down. And I'm afraid it looks a little run down. I want to get a glance at this house over here before we move on. Oh yeah, definitely some of this is run down. Look at this beautiful old place. Oh, what a shame. Oh, what a shame. All right. Well, I, I promise we'll visit nicer parts of town. Um, but what a tragedy it is that this place this nice is gone to, you know, just a wreck. But some of these still in here are very nice. This one, this one looks to be in great shape. Um, interesting, yeah. Huh, kind of a mixed bag in there. Let's move up here, see another neighborhood, maybe Enon Ridge, Enon Ridge. Mo discount, okay. Yeah, smaller homes. Kind of country feel out here, real country. Considering how close we are to downtown, I'm kind of surprised. Kind of another mixed bag here. Um, some nice places. Nicely cared yards, well, for the most part. And um, and then some of them really been let go, unfortunately. Interesting, all right. It's valuable to see. I love how well mapped this is here. Great 3D views of everything. Loving that. Huge rail yard here, man. Really big. Alabama Farmer's Market. Ooh, that, that might be the type of place I'd check out. I love a farmer's market. Well, oh, okay. Here's a sign. I thought it was closed there for a second, that old sign, but they got a new banner out, so it's still, still in operation. At least some days of the week, maybe. Smokehouse. Oh, definitely. That place is open. Oh, how... Let's look at this sign here. How inviting is that? That, I, I, I wouldn't even pause for a second before I pulled in here. What a great sign with the truck up top. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely come here and uh, buy some, well, whatever they're selling. It's like kind of a flea market situation going on right there. Oh, you can kind of see some tents set up, and I'm sure there's, yeah, there's some food. I'm sure you can get some, yeah, fresh vegetable, vegetables and that kind of thing. Absolutely hit that up. Let's see, Graymont, oh, here's a stadium. Legion Field. Oh, okay. Historic football field. Okay. Compass Bowl. Pretty big place. Really impressively large, actually. And kind of fun stuff going on outside of there, looks like. Let's see. How about we drive down, what is this, 3rd Avenue, something like that? Oh, we're on an alleyway. That was not my intent. Let's get out here on a street. More winter views. Really, it really bums me out when I see the winter views, right? Just not as, everything looks a little Depressed. Hey, there we go. It's as if it heard me. So much nicer. I'm a big summer fan. I I used to think I was a spring fall fan, and, and I am. I am. But I don't know. Summer is so great. So lush. I like these homes here. Good character to them. These are old places, early 1900s, that kind of thing. Some churches, car wash. Interesting. More baseball stadiums up here. There's a hospital up there. Oh, we're getting, we're getting all turned around here. Okay. All right, so a little bit of that. Um. Vulcan Park and Museum. Oh, what is this now? It's catching my eye. Vulcan Park. Whoa, is that a statue? Whoa! Oh my goodness, what is this? That must be, um... 
Uh, Vulcan. Oh my goodness, look at that. Fantastic statue up here. I would, I would certainly visit here. Oh yes. Oh wow, you can climb up the stairs here, and um, would even see him up there. But we're clearly up on this pedestal for a giant. I don't know, statue pedestal. And look at the view of the, the city here. Million dollar view. This is really great. You can tell we're up on a hill even. Like this whole, there's a kind of a ridge that goes down this whole side. Ooh, look at this house over there. That looks like a nice place. Um, this is so great. All right, let's pop back up. I, I still haven't gotten like a perfect view of this actual statue. Let's see. Okay, we're here in winter again. Oh yeah, there it is. What an epic statue, I really love that. Fantastic. I don't know what the story with that is, but that's just a beauty. So powerful, I love that. I wonder if that ever gets hit by lightning. Maybe that's what this is. This, maybe that's the lightning tower next to it there. Um, wow, interesting. Oh, looks like there's some lighting here for nighttime. Really cool place here. Yeah, you can see, yeah, there's like a whole ridge here. Interesting. Giant cell phone tower there of some sort. Oh yeah, here's some nice homes up here. That's I thought I spotted those. I don't know if we can really see them too well, but I'll try to take a peek. Ah, uh, well obscured by the nature. Uh, here is summer. Spoiling my plans. Beautiful home here though, right? Really nice up on this hillside. Um, yeah, I like that. Oh yeah, lots of great homes up in here. Oh yeah. Look at this place up here. What? What a large, what a large place. And some of these actually have views out the back here. Oh my. That that view never gets old there. I love this home right here. That's really great. Yeah. Ah, oh, some apartment buildings up here too, so they get a nice view too. Cool. Alright. I like seeing that. It looks like they busted through this hillside to put in the highway. They uh I wonder if they considered a tunnel and at some point it was just like, no, we're just digging straight through there, straight through. Let's see if we get a view of that down on the highway. Oh yeah. Yep, that was a lot of work back whenever they did that. And you coming into town here. It doesn't look like there's any big river of any sort that I noticed. Um, interesting building here. Before I zoom too far, I want to just catch what this is. Oh, maybe a... Uh... Oh yeah, okay. Temple? Jewish temple? Nice. Nice old brickwork here. Little star there. Yep, there you go. New apartment building going in here. Again, they're gonna have great views over to downtown over there. Al America Bank. Alright. Smushing together a few words to make that word. This is it. This is a beauty here. Oh boy, I hope this one gets saved. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Um, oh, it looks like it's being cared for, yeah. Some sort of... Yeah, okay. I like seeing that. I'll sleep better at night knowing that place is uh, being cared for. <laughs> um, that's really nice though. Great church here in the corner. Huge bell tower. Wonder if there's still a bell up there that they ring. Oh, another another temple over here, okay. So if you're Jewish here, you got plenty of options. Chick-fil-A. Get a sandwich. Ooh, looks like they have some bike rental here. 
if you're into that sort of thing. I'd definitely do that. It's usually super cheap. A couple bucks and you're, you know, you're on your way. This is a great building here. Oh, United Methodist Church. Okay, so this is the bunch of churches and temples here. Lovely place here. Nice big dome to that. I wonder if we can get inside there. Oh, tragically, no. I thought we could there. Well, there's a better view of it, at least. Look at those red doors. My goodness. Um, interesting. Methodist Church. And a nice little fountain out here. This is a great little intersection. I like that. Stop by that bar and grill. Definitely. Iron City Pizza. Okay. Yeah, I do that. All right, where are we? Where? I've lost. Uh, I've lost myself a little bit here. Okay. All right, here's the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Let's make sure we check out their campus. Stop by the green, the campus green. Nice bright day out here, back in 2014. This grass looks almost parched. I guess it's still spring here, it's still coming in. Looks like they got a smoker out there. Mm, must be graduation time here. All right, a bunch of campus buildings. Okay, a little fountain going on there. Not too many of these students out and about. Could be early in the day, maybe. Interesting. Pretty good sized campus. Bunch of sports fields. Looks like a hospital here. Children's hospital, maybe. Definitely. Nice place. They usually make, I feel like children's hospitals are some of the best looking hospitals. Makes sense though, I mean, you gotta make sure they get the extra care. And, um, oh, okay, a golf course right there. Let's drive by this brewery here. Looks like there's a couple breweries. This might be a fun neighborhood. Well, maybe. It's nice to have you in Birmingham. All right. It's nice to be here. Trim Tab Brewing. Definitely, it's open. All right, yeah, pop in there. Sample some beers, maybe. And hopefully oh, we have some apartments. Again, newer places going in here. 28th Street. Ooh, we just zoomed by a lot of stuff there. Sorry about that. Um, oh, look at this road. Yikes. Need to do a little work there. Okay. Car wash, maybe. I like the look of this place. Looks like some fun stuff happening. Great signage. Not sure what this is. Maybe this is that other brewery. Possibly. GT? Yeah, Ghost Train Brewing? Oh my goodness. I promise you, I would stop in there. Sloss Furnace National Historic Landmark. Wow. Look at this old place. Yeah, this was seriously a, a major industrial city back in the day. I read that it was called the, the Pittsburgh of the South. And this, this sure has the look of it. This is wonderful in here. Wow. Now, it's all a bit sad because most of this stuff's kind of closed now. But time moves on. And um, pretty neat, though. Yeah, we, we got a great 3D view of this. Nifty. I'm glad this has been preserved. I hope uh, I hope it's well cared for and uh, nothing too bad comes of it. It's, it's really cool to have this. It's a huge place though, hard to manage that. Hard, hard to care, care for it. Really neat though. Birmingham Historical Society, okay. 
Yeah, so there's still a lot of pride in their history here and their industrial past. Sentinel firearms, okay. A good number of stuff all around. Let's see. Let's catch one more neighborhood over here, maybe. How about Avenue E? looks a little nicer than some of those ones I saw earlier. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there, there, there's a couple of rough neighborhoods around here. It just clearly experienced... Oh, I don't know. People left. Well, you know, this one too. Not great shape. All right, if you live in Birmingham, let me know Let me know some of your... some of the better neighborhoods to check out. Um, obviously, you know, you're still pretty good quality of life even in this neighborhood here, but there's also definitely a mixture of really rundown houses. Hey, look at this guy. What's going on? Nice Mustang. Um, yeah, well, this, this is nicer up here. But yeah, if you live in Birmingham, let me know uh, what your favorite neighborhoods are, what some of the up, what up and coming areas, if I'm uh, thinking of visiting, you know, where, where should I check out? And I'll come back and give it a glance maybe and see what I think. Major industry up here. Look at this. This is still functioning, clearly. Westfield. Yeah, you can still see there's like quarries. Um, I noticed one earlier too. Look at this quarry here, yeah. Serious quarry. Wow. Wonder if they'll turn that into a lake someday. Maybe. Yeah, still tons of trains coming in here. I'm sure coal. Look at all these cars lined up here. Are they delivering? These look like they're like delivering cars. These look like new maybe. Something about that. There must be an auto manufacturing plant somewhere is my guess. I'm not quite sure. That or they're all just parked there. That doesn't seem likely though. All right. Let's see, one more place downtown. I'm gonna have to wrap this up. This has been great, but uh, you know, gotta keep these two some time limit here. And again, if you live in Birmingham, let me know what I should see, and I'll, I'll come back and I'll I'll give it another glance. I promise. Third Avenue North. Quiet over here. More great old buildings. A little character. Um, this newer place with this clock tower. Eh, not a huge fan of that if I'm being honest. Definitely some empty storefronts down here. But, still potential. Could probably open a business here for a pretty fair price, so if you're thinking of starting a place, you know, I don't know what, I don't know what rent costs in here, but probably reasonably affordable. Great building here. Oh, Fred Armisen. Ah, I, I would see him. Absolutely. The Alabama. I like this. Clearly some bands in town here. At the theater. Oh, well, that can't be Fred Armisen, but um, I don't know. Maybe it is. Oh, cars. That looks like a nice bar there. That looks really nice. Shame we can't see this theater front. Um, the truck is there. Okay, um, oh, great building here too. I love this white, very clean. Somebody, a lot of work went into that. Keeping that clean, bright, nice details all through there. And I always appreciate the random public art. That is one of my favorite things on this tour, I swear. I'm just eternally amused by what we put on our corners. Like what? is that I, I don't know um whatever if we have to put something there i guess that'll do science center oh yeah it's up by there especially if there's an imax there's fun stuff in here all right there's definitely it's definitely mixed like i feel like i've seen a lot of cool stuff with a lot of promise and um yeah definitely some places that need a little help like like the work happening there Seems like a promising street. Very cool. All right. 
I'm gonna add this to my map. Okay, there she is. Nice, that was great. I didn't see too much of it, but enough that I got a little sense of things. That was great. And I'll have to get back to Alabama sometime soon. Montgomery, Tuscaloosa, and uh, down to Mobile, maybe. That'll be great. In the future, yeah, let me know where I should stop by. Check out some of my other videos. Please subscribe, of course. Tell your friends, share it around, you know? I appreciate that. And check out some of these other videos. All these dots represent places I've been. All right, till next time.